So I watched the documentary, or at least part of the documentary, called The Social Dilemma, and there was a point in there that really stood out about how business has actually changed and what actually is considered a business in the 21st century with technology. So I want to talk to you about that today. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I am Neil Wintreg, and today I want to talk to you about uh, Something I thought of the other night, uh, watching that documentary called The Social Dilemma, talking about how social media has pretty much destroyed a lot of the way societies and civilizations work. Um, I only admittedly caught about 20 minutes of this. Uh, my wife started watching it while I was doing something else and it was just kind of on in the background. And it is a very interesting documentary that you should probably watch. but. Um, very early on in the documentary, there was some interesting points of view that were being talked about. So they brought in some different investors, different people who left social media platforms like Google, Apple, Facebook, et cetera. People actually walked away from these industries because they were torn about the way what they were developing was actually creating problems in society like social unrest and divisiveness and things of this nature. But very early on, um, somebody said something very interesting and I don't remember his name. Like I said, it was just in the background and it's, it's gotten me thinking the last couple of days about how business has changed. So a investor came on and said, you know, I've been investing in businesses for 25, 30 years and it was very cut and dry. The tech industry used to be very cut and dry, you know. Um, the company manufactures products, software, hardware, whatever it is, sells it off to the people, transitions it over to them, and it's just like a normal business. Like you come in, you pay for a piece of pizza, you get your piece of pizza, you leave. That's how the tech industry was. Hey, I need a computer, I'm gonna buy my computer, I'm gonna go, I want this software, I want this hardware, I buy it, I leave. And he said it was very easy, but now social media has actually changed the definition of business from me paying for a product to my, the user's, attention being paid for. And it starts to get really interesting when you think about that. So uh, another person said that if you aren't paying for the product, you are the product. And if you really sit there and you think about it, technology and what we've done with technology and these amazing platforms that everybody loves have really changed what business is. Because now the purpose of these platforms is not to get money from you. I mean, yes, there are platforms where you might pay you know, a dollar to have, you know, your special smash hammer for Candy Crush or whatever it is. But the point of Candy Crush is not to get your dollar from the smash hammer, it's to actually uh, suck in your attention. And so what is being sold by Facebook and Twitter and all these people is the amount of time that you can be on the screen using their platform so that they can turn around and sell that to the actual customer, which is the advertisers. And it just got me as a business person. I've always dealt in the exchange of goods for money. Um, you know, it's kind of like the stock market. It's all based off of attention. And that's sort of what social media has become is it's an attention-based thing of how much attention can you get to actually make it. And so all of these algorithms are designed based around how much attention can they get from you. And it just makes the concept of business really interesting. Um, business is not being done in a traditional sense. And I just found that really kind of like, I've kind of known that, but actually hearing it said by social media influencers and investors and things like that, of like, yeah, business isn't about exchanging goods, it's about attention. And if you aren't paying for the product, then you are the product really kind of blew my mind about what the definition of business is right now uh, because of technology. So I thought that that was very unique. I don't agree with that business model, um, which is probably why I've never been a huge social media person. You know, I have Facebook account and I have Instagram, but it's not like I really use it or, you know, I post stuff, but I'm not there all the time looking and trying to learn more or whatever. Um, so it's just very interesting to think of how business has changed in the last five, 10 years as a result of trying to not build a product for the person, but build a product to make money through advertising. 
Very interesting. So I'd love to hear some of your thoughts below about it. There's obviously way more in the documentary. This is just literally the beginning and it's what I heard, but it was what was most interesting to me being a business person of how the definition of what a business is has really changed. So I'd love to hear some of your thoughts about it. I almost feel like this is like something that would be a discussionary, like podcasty type session between different people for a while. But I'd love to hear from you guys and tell me what you've noticed as a change of how business has changed or the definition of business and what the product is has changed as technology has improved. So those are my thoughts. I thought it was pretty interesting. Uh, it's a pretty interesting documentary. It's on Netflix. It's called The Social Dilemma. But that was the part that really intrigued me. And I'd love to hear from you about it. So I will catch you next time.